know if Pollo has ever taken a set of Cubans. They go way back. They're friends. They've been playing since Brawl for long. Time. I don't know if if he's done it. Uh, but they're going to. I've heard. I heard once that Pollo has kind of a mental block against Cubans. He's always very close and he just doesn't pull it off. But if he's gonna win, this is his moment. Poyo is so strong and Hugo has been still rising again to the top, so this is Poyo's moment. This is... It, well, a little bit of the storylines... Where the storylines converge. Yeah. Like Poyo making such a great run at this tournament and Hugo trying to prove that he's still got it. Yeah, exactly. I couldn't have said it that better myself. So this is Bowser's time to shine. He's at 86%, starting to build up that juicy rage. And Hugo setting up camp. <laughs> fearless, fearless running from Pollo. Ah, dude, Bowser's run is so intimidating. Okay, there goes Pollo again. The bomb explosion, not enough, not yet. Great ledge trump, but not punishing. And uh, kind of a wonky Poyo. recovery there, but it worked out for him, so. Here the two well, right at the time. They are the ones that are playing on stage, so I cannot question them. Yeah, this is and almost it. Air dodging just one frame up. Tool Link is one of the hardest characters to combo and, and to get true conversions on because of his size and floating is yeah, right. Exactly. The combination of such things makes Tool Link very, very hard to get confirms on. And that that they're almost killing from center stage. Yes. Such great and safe conversions, all this uh, that Hugo gets oh. from the bombs. Yeah, Hugo's the bomb master. He always preaches for that bomb in hand, and that's actually his downfall sometimes because if players are able to catch up to his bomb pulling uh, habits. Yeah, like it happened with Larry Lur at Mexico Saga, right? He gets the work. Okay, so that's it. Apoyo on the lead. He waited for that lead, but not a great execution by Hugo. And Apoyo with a super deep. Recovery across the stage, not enough. 155 percent. That's max rage Bowser for you. And did the bomb bounce off the fire? Yeah, it did. <laughs> it clinked kind of. With the maybe, maybe bouncing off a little bit of that uh, wind box that has at the end, like the very tip of the fire has a wind box. Yeah, for sure. That was a weird interaction. Yeah, like you said, he didn't catch him because of the d uh, mix up, the timing of the downer. Great uses of the fire by uh, by Poyo, and that's it. And you can tell these are players that have played very many times because they are very confident in their ability to catch their opponent off guard. And yeah, they capitalize. If, like we just saw earlier, like Poyo just ran across the entire stage and grabbed Cuba because he knew, right? Yeah, he he knew, he knew. Okay, so 60% on Hugo, only 12% on Poyo. That's a Brand new Bowser. Dueling such hard cards there to come in, but Boyo making it happen on the lead right now. 78%. 78 percent. That's all. That's Koopa percent, right? If he's able to find a grab. If he's just able to find a grab, this could be it for the first game. Hugo very, very patiently waiting for that bomb to explode to get the down throw extra damage. Yeah, great use of the Sir to space Boyo out. He's gonna punish hard. Oh, Boyo! I thought dodge. it was a grab. I thought it was a grab. Great usage of the projectiles by Hyuga, putting this wall of pressure on Poyo, not being able to get in right now. And shield's running low. Watch out, Poyo. Also, also Hyuga, very, very comfortable when, once he's center, on center stage. Yeah. Oh, oh no! That was a flop by Poyo. Hyuga doing a great job at avoiding the grabs. Both of them nodding their heads now. And that he was so close. Happened. You saw you saw what I told you, right? He yeah. was so close. He yeah, was one so grab away. Pretty yeah, much. he was getting close to forward throw uh, kill percentage and back throw kill, kill oh, percentage. Yeah. Like if like on the ledge, right? If up throw if up throw upper didn't work, he still had some kill options. I mean, he's Bowser. He yeah, just <laughs> never runs out of kill options. Okay, so going back to, uh, to giant evil two. turtle versus. The kind of like Peter Panish looking <laughs> uh, dude. <laughs> so yeah, uh, command grab, 18%, quick percent for Poyo on Hyuga. We're going to town and city. Why do you think he went here? Well, I think it's kind of uh, 
because of the boundaries of the stage are so small. Uh, both vertically and horizontally down in CD is the smallest legal stage that we have in Smash 4. So, so it's better for the Koopa, right? Yeah, it kills earlier and also like his hits are so strong that he's just gonna kill earlier also from side. Yeah, Toon Link oh. being a tiny character but still kind of like a... He packs a punch. Know? Yeah. He packs a punch too. <laughs> he it's very hard. Oh, great down to usage by Poyo. Let's see if Poyo... He's going for the ledge. Yeah, he, he didn't try to land. Sometimes uh, players make the mistake of trying to land straight on stage. Yeah. No, and he's careful, dude. And in this game with... Uh, well, ledge play is very resulted in the fact that you kind of have to ledge trap your opponent sometimes. It's so deep, sometimes. Yeah. so you're not out of the woods yet, even if you might, even if you make it to the ledge. Oh, that was a great read. He beat, he beat that backer. Yeah, he didn't even care. He didn't even come out. Like the animation started, but the hitbox didn't come out. Yeah, he. Is that it? Oh, so floaty, like you once were again, saying. once again, it's kind of hard to follow the eye on on Toon Link. You kind of have to kill him, kill him off of straight hits. Oh, that was not it. 128 percent great DI by Huga. Huga, one of the best survival DI users that I've ever seen. Like yeah. him and Searcher, two of the best. Uh, he's the only crazier thing that I've ever seen. Uh, from if, uh, besides uh, Huga DIing some crazy stuff, is that Smash Factor Reach he once lived a uh, bayonetta upper at 170 percent up top. I, did, I don't know how he did it. And he was Town City too. Dude, I don't know how he did it. <laughs> and also Ranai surviving in a Genesis 3 finals against Serial like at the 200%. And oh, that's yeah. it. That okay. comes to show, but no DI is going to save him from that. Yeah, that was rock. It was just rock. And like, it's, <laughs> like I said, like we're not seeing Poyo get those graph conversions that we saw maybe against Yura. Yeah. And Hyuga. Playing his game, just patiently walling out Boyo and trying to find his openings. Yeah, and avoiding the grabs too. He's doing a great job at that. Like I don't know if that down B would have worked against. Maybe it would have worked against very many other players. Not Hugo though. Ninety-eight percent on this Bowser. He's close to dying. Great air dodge <laughs> by Huga. I don't know how he did it, but he managed to escape one of Boyo's combos. Once more, he's like Houdini, man. He just escapes from everything. <laughs> oh, great catch by Boyo. Not sleeping on the bomb. Ooh, That's beautiful, an upper. Beautiful, but Bowser's weight, even on Town and City, saving him from legit. I'm sure dead, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, really Huga legit, looking like... Last year, Huga like had his prime. He's played so well. Yeah, so patiently. That's it. When he plays on point, it really shows up. It it's almost tangible the way that yeah that you can perceive it. Okay, so Poyo uh, like kind of looking for a track, I think. A, a nice song to go along this third and very, very important game in top eight qualifier. Yeah, the, the winner of this is gonna make uh, top eight loser side. So, and the loser's gonna go home, right? Early, well, kind of. Yeah, the loser's gonna go play play some friendlies. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> kind of. <laughs> gonna gonna take a, maybe a bathroom break or something. But yeah, as you said, like this is important for both of them. Yeah, this is where. Where history is made, right? Yeah, for sure. Then again, Poyo with all the advantage in the world at this percent wise. And I love how uh, Huga plays such great mind games on shield once he has a bomb in hand. You really can't let him have a bomb in hand because he's super The dangerous. amount of mix ups that he does. Yeah, and he's crazy. such a smart player. He's such a smart player that. Oh, what? Oh, that was <laughs> almost a crazy read by Poyo. That was almost beautiful. That was almost very, very cute. <laughs> Okay, so now he's bringing it back. You guys still on this? And he's falling for the projectile game. And that's it. Taking him very far. Oh, and almost surviving. Great yeah. DI by Huga, but that was it. Sometimes it's just not enough, man. Okay, so now Poyo again at the lead, and Huga with all this stage control, giving it away for free. I kinda? think that we've seen that recovery a couple of times, and Huga's been able to make it back every time. Okay, so back throw, uh, not enough. Oh, oh, oh he almost took him with him. Yeah, he, <laughs> Huga must have held like a break against his controller because yeah. he died super hard in 
not to that not was to close. end up stage. And that would have been a great trade for Boyo because he was stuck up. Yeah, that's that the only time that you can SD with Bowser because if you don't, if that was that's game. That was game pretty much. Okay, great uh, up smash catching Poyo's landing finally. That tiny Master Sword hitting so hard. <laughs> the cartoon version of Maybe the Mario is not the only hero that can beat Bowser. Yeah, especially with up smashes. <laughs> <laughs> Taking great. a face out of Mario, Mario told him like, you know, you just up smash, man, and he just got flies up the top. Ally, and he's like, dude, <laughs> up smash. <laughs> it's just up smash. <laughs> And again, Poyo with the confidence in this third game. This could be his game, finally. He's facing him out, warning him out, trying to claw his way back into this game. He's Hyuga. Yeah, as long as he's, uh, he doesn't go above 50%, Poyo is content with it. And I do percent. believe that we've seen Poyo have a lead pretty much every game, and every time Hyuga brings back. Yeah, that's the patience, dude. Eventually, Hyuga brings out the patience. It's so hard to beat a patient Hyuga. And also the nature of the character, because Toon Link forces you to play his game Yeah, he did take like 90% of the, the time page of the, the pace of the game Reverse of B it. Almost it Hanging on to life just a little bit catching. Oh, reverse hit of normal <laughs> Yeah, it, he was the master of this of B right now Okay, so 131 now, he's losing big time Trying He's one bomb conversion away from losing this game All Is that it? Is that it? That was what not a great DI! What the DI! Almost full rage, still not enough! Back through. Okay, waiting for the bomb for the extra percent. Oh, oh what? No. what? No, no way! Boy, you know no way. way! No he way! He killed himself, he's out of the top 8! The bomb! The bomb yeah. working out for Turling, even after working after hours. Yeah, dude. I that, that bomb deserves some extra payment, man. Yeah? That's top eight bomb, dude. I can't believe it ended oh. that way. I'm so heartbroken. That's a crazy end. Yeah, that was, that was rough. That was rough. Yeah, I mean, it was. Yeah. They were very.